Welcome back. In this part we are going to make clock numbers, pointers, and add functionality. We are going to add clock numbers through JavaScript. We will select the numbers container by using query selector for class clock numbers. Then we will make a for loop to those numbers element. We will declare an element equal to literal template. Inside it a div with class of clock number. And we will use j variable to write the number. Then we are going to insert this element to the DOM in the numbers container. Now we see them. Next we will position them to the clock center. In style file. For clock numbers we will set position to absolute and inset to 15 pixels. For clock number. We will set font size to 1.4 rem. Font family to dancing script. Font weight to 500. And some basic styling to move them to clock center. Now we need to move each number to its position. For moving these numbers to their positions we will need a little of trigonometry calculations. Consider for number 1 to move it to its position we need to translate it along y axis and x axis. For x axis this distance is equal to a cosine alpha and for y axis this distance is equal to a sine alpha. A is the radius of the numbers containers we can handle it in CSS file. But unfortunately we can't calculate sine and cosine in CSS, so we will handle it in JavaScript and pass its value to CSS file through custom properties as X factor and Y factor especially that every number will have its own angle, alpha value. So now in script file, we will calculate X factor and Y factor. But first we need to convert angle value from degrees to radian. To do so we need to multiply angle in degree which is unique for each number and equal to j multiplied by 30 by math.pi divided by 180. Then we calculate the x factor and y factor. Then we pass those two values as a custom properties. Then in style file we translate each number using this two custom property which is unique to each number.
Now let's work on clock pointers for clock pointer. We will set a custom property height to 100 pixels. Color black, position absolute, to move it to the clock center. I like to use custom properties and then change these properties for each pointer. We will also add a custom property for width. For clock pointer hour, we will change its custom properties height to 70 pixels. Also for color and width. Also we will change these properties for minutes pointer. Then we need to set transform origin to bottom center so it rotates around its bottom center. Now if we tried to rotate it, it rotates fine. But every pointer will have its own angle so we will set a custom property for angle, then we will handle it by JavaScript. We will set a clip path to make it like a needle, for that we will use a Clippy website to make this clip easier. I will leave this site URL in description, then we copy this path and passed it in clip path property. In script file, we will select the three pointers using query selector, Then we will declare a function called setTime. To get the time we will use the date construct. To get the hour we will use get hours method on date but it return it in 24 format to make it in 12 format we will use the remainder operator to make it in 12 format. Also we will use get minutes and get seconds methods. Then we will declare a function called interpolation. Interpolation method is used for finding new values for any function using the set of corresponding values. We will use it to calculate pointer angles. To know more about linear interpolation I will leave a Wikipedia link in description. For hours angle we use interpolation function first argument is hours value second is the max value for hours that is equal to 12 and then min value for angle which is equal to 0 and max value for angle which is equal to 360 degree. Also we will do the same for minutes and seconds angles. Then we will change angle property for each pointer.
it should works. I think we missed the right degree here. All also we missed the right bar here. We need to run this function every second so we will set interval to run it every 1000 milliseconds. For clock center it's quite simple I will just pass those styles. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave comment, thanks for watching.